Michelle second at six. Coming all the way up the hill to this par four of 347 yards. And again, right on the money. Final round last year. This for birdie, again up the hill at 11, running in the same direction as nine. What a brilliant putt from Michelle. Shall we? This to stretch the lead. Oh. She is now five under. And speaking of holding it together, Michelle Wee is doing just that five under. One of the challenging holes. We'll probably also refer to it as the beanbag hole. And she wants to fix that this year. Now can Michelle stretch the lead? Yeah. Of course she can. Woo. What a display this has been. Actually faster than the other off the tee. Very nice touch from Michelle. Yes, nicely hold. Was up on what has been a great opening day for Michelle Wee. Starting that one left of the pin, allowing the slope to bring it down. Not quite as the final hole. She led going into the final round on this golf course. Generates a lot of club head speed when you're that tall. This was at the 13th. There for the taking today, the 13th, and Michelle Wee did just that. Excellent birdie. And a good save, too. That is a really good par. Up. Just 137 yards, the. That's a great result. That could have gone anywhere. A miss for a round of 66. Need to get the wind just right. Very exposed on that elevated tee. Bear in mind that this young woman is in contention to win the title after shooting 73 on Friday. Yes, what a great bounce back. Chance for the lead, albeit an outside one for Michelle Wee. It had a chance. Because I think I'm going to need it from there. What's the yardage? Come on down. Huge. Absolutely huge from Michelle Wheat. Par might be good enough. That might be the commercial play. Michelle Wee watching this one closely. for Michelle Wheat. Can afford to fade it in. This one hanging out a little bit. If it goes in, she leads. Wow! It was shades of Paula's reaction.